The Wild Rose Party spent their week pandering to progressives over an email sent out by a former University of Calgary campus associated group, Wild Rose on Campus, with the subject line, Feminism is Cancer. A documentary slated to be emceed by me, sponsored by the Canadian Association for Equality, and co-hosted by three campus groups including Wild Rose on Campus, Campus Conservatives and Canadian Advocates for Freedom and Liberty is now being rescheduled as a result of the backlash coming from politicians and feminists. That backlash prompted the two conservative groups to back out of the event, leaving CAFL to host on their own. Nixon and Wild Rose leader Brian Jean took to Twitter to condemn the students. Clearly they and anyone else that think this is a men's rights event or that the movie is controversial hasn't seen the film. It wasn't an inappropriate event, as Nixon suggests, nor does it discourage women from entering the political process, as Jean suggests. The movie has been screened without a hitch in most locations and is directed by a female feminist that takes a journey through the men's rights movement and actually does a good job of being objective and providing commentary from other leading feminists. Look, the email wasn't the best idea, especially when you're co-hosting the event with a group that advocates for equality. But at the same time, this is a statement popularized by Milo Yiannopoulos. Say what you will about him, personally I don't follow what he's up to, but he does seem to connect with millennials. This tells me two things. The Wild Rose Party is using their own youth voters to posture politically in order to pander to progressives and they are simply out of touch with their youth base. I doubt these guys are really all that incensed about some words in a subject line and if they are, I'm embarrassed for them. A simple statement of apology, like the actual group issued, would have sufficed, but no. Later that day, the party also sent a cease and desist to the club warning them not to use their logo and essentially cut ties with the group. Really, they sicked a lawyer on these students that they're supposed to be mentoring. It's the most absurd thing I've seen coming from the party since Phil DeBrandt got suspended. When are these guys going to start serving their members in sticky situations just like this instead of the media and the left? The Wild Rose Party threw the entire campus club under the bus and its entire executive has essentially resigned, so the club will fold. All to side with people like Shannon Phillips and some other NDP MLAs that were feigning outrage over the email, which makes them really no different than the NDP and the feminists that also haven't watched the film, but have all sorts of opinions on it. I didn't see Shannon Phillips or Trevor Horn freaking out when Sheila Gunn-Reed was actually assaulted by a man at a women's march attended by their supporters, by the way. An email with what they deem is an offensive subject line? Outrage. Actual violence? Silence. Besides the point, whatever happened to principles and standing up for free speech? A core conservative value. This film documents some very serious issues that men face and the Wild Rose Party helped in part to stop it from being shown by attacking their own club and affecting the logistics of the event. And you know, the Wild Rose Party need these youth the most in Calgary where they can't seem to win voters over. They're the base that mobilizes and goes door knocking and volunteers and are the future of the party. I don't think the students should have caved and they certainly did because these politicians bullied them into it. You know what's really sad? The party is supposed to be mentoring their future prospects and I bet this club was a part of these young voters' identity on campus and personally. Instead of guiding them, the Wild Rose turned their backs on their own members simply to please the media and the people that will never ever vote for them. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. If you haven't signed up for a premium subscription yet, make sure to check out the options. You can still have access to our free content along with full-length shows for only $8 a month.